Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install a Linux distribution uh, as a virtual machine on VMware Workstation 16 player for non-commercial use only. So let's get right into it. So you want to make sure you have it downloaded. If you haven't already, here is the link to it. I'll leave it down in the description. But the installation process for it is very simple, so I'm not going to show it on the video. I am using Fedora for the demonstration. Well, you can use anything you like, of course. Uh, if you haven't downloaded, if you haven't decided on what type of uh, distribution you want to use, what distribution you want to use, uh, you can check out this site. It's very cool. You have all the distributions, the descriptions of them, you know, the architecture and stuff links to the original site so if you haven't decided yet make sure to check this out and also make sure you have downloaded the dvd iso file the disk image file not any other stuff because that's the one we are going to be using to install it as a virtual machine so let's get right into it make sure you have saved it somewhere and yeah so here we go we're going to just create a new virtual machine uh, make sure you select it from the directory. No, we have saved it. Uh, go next. The name. You know, it's the recommend. It will rec mo uh, most of the time to recognize your distribution and just recommend you the size. I recommend always going some like five gigs, few gigs higher because you will be installing other stuff than the system here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you check here. Like it matters because. Either you have a, a 10 gigabyte uh, file or like five two gigabytes file. It's you know used for you know when you're copying this on a pen drive, like it says over here. I'm not gonna explain because it's really just written out. So you can go to customize hardware, but you can always do it later. I'm going to do this right now. Uh, the RAM you can you know the the RAM you want to allocate for your virtual machine I'm gonna use go ahead and four do four you can always see the recommended memory the maximum that stuff you know uh, I always recommend using more than one processor core I have eight so I'm going to use eight it's everything you choose here it's dependent on what hardware you have physically uh, I recommend you checking this on to prevent any errors uh, USB controller, you can go ahead and do whatever you want here. Network adapter, all the other stuff. I'm not going to go in depth what it means and what can you can do here. Just you can After the installation, you can make sure to uh, use a physical drive over here. So, or just clear it. So you can uh, insert some other stuff into it rather than the installation file. Sound card, printer, display, I recommend using host settings, everything is up to you over here, doesn't really matter. So close, finish, now it's gonna power on. And yeah, we're just off to a simple installation process of Linux you have selected. Uh, don't worry, it's most of the Linux installation processes are just very similar to each other and are very user friendly so if you are new to all of all of this stuff you don't have to worry I'm still gonna show this of course it's really similar to most of the uh, distributions it will just basically ask you for stuff like you know keyboard locals language create a user and stuff yeah so here we are you can install it directly to hard drive or try it you can try it if you have, you know, the live image, disk image. If it's if it's live, you, you know, it basically comes with a pre-installed simple system. So you can try it out. We're gonna just install the hard drive. And yeah, from now on, it's just a simple installation process. Time and date, you can do whatever you want over here. Uh yeah sometimes it will give you something like that but just you know, recheck it every find seems dandy yep correct begin installation and now just gonna go ahead and 
duty stuff, copy the software and stuff. Uh, on other distributions, it may prompt you to select uh, the kind of software you want installed, you know, like some something additional. But no, it's everything really simple. And yeah. Oh, and if it would, maybe uh, it if if it were to prompt you to uh, install Grub Bootloader on the main disk, you should select yes, because it's basically the boot manager. Without it, you couldn't you wouldn't be able to boot into any system. So yeah, that's just that. I can go ahead and skip. I'm just gonna. All right, so now the installation is finished. If you if everything went swimmingly, you can just go ahead and finish installation. Uh, it it may be it may just redirect you to the live system, but make sure you just restart it from within. Don't just close it with the X. Never close your virtual machine with the X because it's a disaster. Maybe nothing will happen uh, from the first time, but for the first time, but. Uh, when you continue doing this and doing this, it will not shut down cleanly and it will give you errors or even maybe prevent you from booting in the future. So just make sure you do this from the machine or from the you know, power, shut down gas, suspend gas, restart gas. If you suspend it, you know, it will just save the state of it. So now we can have the setup over here, what have you. It's mostly similar, it's similar for most of the distributions. Something missing Fedora, it looks like that. Password, doesn't really matter what you put in here, it's all up to you, of course. No tedious stuff. So now we have installed your system, congratulations. New things. And here's the one thing I would recommend doing is... Uh, updating your system. So we can go ahead and do sudo su, it will make you a root user super user to prevent any errors when running these commands and the pr commands you want to run is apt get or yum or pacman whatever package manager you have you it will be different for uh, distribution no, no for distribution for the architecture so fedora in fedora you have yum so you want to go run yum update I'm not gonna run it, of course, and then you wanna run, run a yum upgrade. And once all all's that, you can go ahead and install VMware tools. So now, this isn't the same for the for most of the. It's a little bit different for every distribution, so I'm not gonna show it. But it's really simple. You can just Google it. Uh, if you but that's it. You know, we're gonna shut down the clean way. So that so to prevent any errors from the future. So to prevent from any error, prevent any errors from the future. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'm just bored. That's what I did. That's why I did this tutorial. No. Oh, you can just left arrow key, right arrow key, right arrow key. Any arrow key here pressed will reveal the actual things that's happening over here. That's in, it's really you know interesting. So yeah, if you want to do any, if you if you have any pointers, stuff you want me to look out for, and other things, you know, just let me know. Uh, apart from my terrible fake British accent, you know that I already know of, but I don't know what can I do. I just speak that way. <laughs> Yep, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever you want.